222.6. Week one of cutting in the books. Last week I lost like two or three pounds and here's what I'm looking like. So I'm making progress, gotta grab a shirt really quick though. These are the new light fit tees from Ape. Highly recommend them. My knee is feeling a lot better. That did not hurt at all. But the scale that I'm using, guys, Vanity Planet said it to me. I've shown you guys this before. It can tell you your body fats, your muscle mass, your water weight, your bone density, a whole bunch of stuff. You can check it out down below in the description and get 60% off using MK Fit. I'm using this right when I wake up every single day. At the start of the day, I go to the bathroom, I jump on the scale to weigh myself just so I'm consistent with my weigh-ins, right? If you're weighing yourself at night after you've ate a whole bunch of stuff, your weight is gonna be higher and then it's lower, it's gonna fluctuate a lot. So you can check out this scale down below in the description. So it's around 11.15 in the morning. I've been up for a few hours. I haven't ate, having some coffee to suppress my appetite. I'll talk to you guys more about that later on in this video. But right now, I'm gonna make like my favorite meal so far. After one week of cutting, I cannot get enough of this meal. A lot of food. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So I've got three servings of jasmine rice cooking. I have mushrooms, I have green beans, I have peas, I have spinach, and the other ingredient, Beyond Beef. Not good. I just burned my favorite meal. Let me turn those off. Oh my gosh. This is still good. This is still good. Just a little bit burnt. You guys ever have moments where you're cooking food and you forget about it on the stove? That's never a good thing to do. Blame Max because I was just watching his powerlifting video where he got first. Pretty good video. Congrats to him. But yeah, it was his fault. I was in my office and I forgot about the food. I got sidetracked watching his video. So this is a lot of food right here. It's like bigger than my head. And it looks really good, doesn't it? This entire bowl, get this, has 920 calories, 61 protein, 134 carb, and 16 grams of fat. Now I probably won't even be able to eat this much food in one sitting. And I feel like that's one of the secrets to cutting, is to having a lot of food that appears like you're eating a lot of food, a lot of volume, so a lot of vegetables, like I added in here. You got mushrooms, you got green beans, you have green peas, and it's gonna kinda trick you into thinking, oh my gosh, I'm eating a ton of food, I'm stuffed, I'm full, I can't eat anymore, but in reality, if I only eat half of this, it's like 450 calories. And this is so good because it tastes like Genghis Grill, if you've ever been there, just a big stir fry. So don't underestimate the power of adding veggies into your dishes. Back from Walmart, plenty of groceries, it's time to film a video for groceries I am buying on my cut. And I don't care how many groceries I have, always in one trip. Today I did it while moving around the camera. The left side's getting a good workout though. Whew. Getting ready to head to the gym. What do you guys think about these shoes? Are they good or not? I bought them because they were flashy and these are from like 2014. Haven't worn them since, honestly. <laughs> Why not wear them? And I do get a lot of questions about these. These are Ani, A&I, as nature intended. These are what I use to deadlift in in every single video. Apparently, they just restocked their entire site. So I figured I would let you guys know. It's always linked down below in the description, but yeah. These are in if you want them. Are you guys like this? I can't go outside for more than like 10 minutes before my allergies go crazy at this time of year. It absolutely, I just got something in my eye. One song that's really growing on me is One Dance by Drake. I didn't like it when I first heard it, but 
It's like one of those songs the more you listen to you're like, oh, it's a pretty good beat. Which is why it's a single, because it gets stuck in your head, right? That album comes out this week though. It's probably gonna leak in a few days. I am ridiculously excited. And a fast fact, something that you may not know about me, there are Drake songs where I can rap every single word, I kid you not, I can even do it to an instrumental. There's probably like 10 songs. I don't even need him singing. I got it with the beat. Are you fasting? Yes. You're doing it? Yeah. Tell everyone what you're doing, man. I am fasting up until FitCon and then I'm going to Are you going to be at FitCon? Yes, I'll be there. He's going to be at FitCon, bro. Woo. How many pounds you got to get down? Uh, at least 20. Give him some encouragement. He's he's intermittent fasting, guys. Hasn't ate all day, but he's gonna lose some weight. Uh, he's gonna kill it. All right, guys, quick chest workout right here. Good session. I'm really a lot stronger, I feel like, on dumbbell presses. I don't know why. Compared to my flat bench, my flat bench is kind of pathetic. I can get 300 pounds. It's the best that I've ever gotten in my life. But dumbbell incline, I can get 95 for 10 to 12 reps pretty easily. Did good today, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I gotta focus. Come on. I can already hear in the in the video when your workout partner tells you funny jokes and it messes up your you just wanna laugh. Then you gotta get back to serious mode. Anyways, like I said earlier, he'll be a fit con, so anybody who sees him, if you punch him in the face you get a free cookbook. <laughs> this is our room number right here. Oh no. I'll even add a I'll even add a free six Six week meal plan if you cut a dread off of our my Steve. winners. Unlimited <laughs> winners. So I'm back from the gym. I just got out of the shower, so if my hair is looking awful or worse than normal, you know why. And I've got a bunch of food here in front of me. Some cinnamon bread, a bunch of veggies, nine ounces of chicken, and then I also have a can of chili beans with a packet of guacamole. So the volume aspect is still here. This is a lot of food, and I like having big meals because I feel fuller for a longer amount of time. Now, I didn't eat till noon today, and this is something that I have been doing, just waking up and having a black coffee to kind of suppress my appetite for a little bit. And the reason I'm doing that is because it shortens my eating window a little bit. It's kind of like intermittent fasting, but I'm not intermittent fasting because I just don't eat for like three hours when I wake up. I just focus on work, get stuff done, and it's easier for me. I don't feel like I'm starving myself or eating a bunch of small meals throughout the day. I just have some big meals, and I'm still hitting my macros of like, 3,150 calories. I hope that makes sense. And whatever you choose to do, just be consistent with it. It's really easy, I feel like, once you get a routine, once you, you hit the ground running, it's like a snowball. It's just gonna pile up and get bigger and bigger and bigger and easier as time goes on. So I'm gonna watch some basketball, eat this food, call it a night. If you like the video, give it a like, and I'll talk to you next video.